What's going on out there, YouTube? What's up, Team Hollywood? And what's going on, my college football 25 fans? It's your man, Hollywood Sports. If you are new to my channel, thank you for clicking on my video and welcome to Hollywood Sports. We are talking about blocking zone schemes, guys. If you want to be a great runner or a good runner in your games, you have got to follow your blocking schemes. Most people, when they get the handoff, they're going to hit turbo right away and look for holes to go through, right? Well, you don't do that. You follow your blocking schemes. This is an 11-man team, right, on offense. Everybody has to do their job. Everybody has to play together as a unit, okay, with ke chemistry, all right? So you just do your job and let everybody else do their job. Don't try to take off as a runner, okay? Now, you see Coleman right there in the backfield. We're going to run this play live, and then we're going to break it down. You see Coleman in the backfield. You see that gray line right there? It doesn't necessarily mean he's going to run that line. It means you're supposed to follow his blocking, okay? All right? And then we identified the mic, which is the center linebacker right there. And uh, you're going to see that, too. And then we're going to go break this play down. So it'll give you an understanding how to follow your zone blocking schemes. Wide out in motion. Little touch pass Coleman. to the look, look, look at, That's all we had to do. That's our job. We and let the line do their job. Touchdown, Just Washington. Right. That. Yeah, and the passing that's game how you do it. That's how you do it. We need more of that in the second half. An extra. All right, guys. You've seen that play live. You saw me run it live. And uh, let's go ahead and break it down. First of all, I want you to look at my right. Let's look at my right tackle right here, okay? Let's watch what he tries to do. He tries to go block this linebacker right here, okay? He tries to block him, but he doesn't get there in time. Now, when I talk about perfect blocking schemes, follow your schemes, it doesn't mean it's going to work perfectly because my right tackle does not have the rating or the speed to get there to make his block okay now let's look at my tight end right here okay you can see guys we got a tight end here and a tight end here watch this guy right here watch where he goes watch where he goes okay boom he pushes my man out number 13 right here he pushes him out right here okay I want y'all to get a kind of like a small picture of how this thing is going to develop. All right. Now, remember when we did the, the uh, when I showed you to play live, we said our whole goal is to follow Coleman. That's our whole goal. Now, you when you know the offense, when you see the center on a pro team or a college team, when the center is pointing things out, he's identifying the mic and he's telling the line where to go block. Okay. There's it's there. If they, if he identifies the one of the mics, they, then the offensive line should know where they're supposed to block. What happened was we identified this guy as the mic, this linebacker right here. We identified him as the mic. Now let's see who goes and block him. We're breaking it down, guys. We're breaking it down. Okay, my number 87, my tight end. Okay, right here. He goes. His job is to take care of the mic. Kick the mic out of there. Block the mic off. Okay. Now, let's go a little further. Okay. Now, when I say our job is to follow Coleman, that's pretty much what our job's supposed to be. Now, watch the much. Watch my other lineman here. Here, let me forward it up a little bit. Look. On the body on the body double team and then he's gonna try to get there but no he's he's supposed to actually he's supposed to try to get my man right here but he doesn't get there either 68 is the weakest link in our line play he's the weakest link but like I said our goal here let's go a little forward we're supposed to follow Coleman number one that's as me the runner that's my only job I'm not being concerned of who's blocking what I'm supposed to follow Coleman. Now, when Coleman get ready to make this block right here, when I see him get ready to initiate this block, 
and I see uh, my man Hunter, my receiver Hunter, coming over and take that, I hit turbo. I hit turbo, and I know it's a touchdown. I was hoping he didn't block shit and get over here. And, I, and I'm glad Coleman made a good block because he is stuck on the inside. Coleman had the edge on him, right? Also, um, Hunter has a good job shielding this guy off because he can only go this way. Positioning matters, guys. Positioning matters, okay? And then, Mr. Giles Jackson goes right through the hole for the touchdown. Remember, I'm, I'm hitting turbo right here. Once he see, I'm hitting turbo right there. And then we accelerate to the end zone. <laughs> now, let's play this speed one more time. Hopefully, you guys can identify the blocks and understand that your job as a runner is to follow your blocking schemes. If they don't work, it's because the D-line was stronger or the offensive line awareness wasn't good enough or something when it deals with the ratings, okay? But we just so happen to hit this perfectly. <laughs> Touchdown. All right, guys, I'm Hollywood Sports. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on my next video.